in our ears but the more we waste the sound of its tone we'll thunder and feast on any man any beast doesn't matter we'll snack on their own the stragglers we did consume are dropped in our sacrifice too they scream and they run but there's more of the fun as the ogres are coming to get ya Sound of its tone will thunder 
and feast on any man. Any beast doesn't matter. We'll snack on their moon. The stragglers we did consume. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Come and to catch ya. Mm. Mm. You guys ready for today? Mm. Good morning. Thank you for the bits. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Coming to catch ya. One more time. Welcome back, Alejandro. Good morning. Felix, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the gift and sauce. <laughs> thank you for the 20. Beautiful start. Thank you, Felix. One more time. One more time. Oh, beautiful. Delicious. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Nice to see you. Good luck while playing Pokemon. Enjoy those Pokemans. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Knock, knock. Hi. Hello, chat. Hi. <laughs> Wow, Zalix, thank you so much for all those gifted subs. Oh my god. Wowie, wowie, wowie. That was a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Am I doing okay? I'm doing good. I was actually eating breakfast. I have my coffee here. I have some water. It is 10.30 a.m. And, um... What? Boss lady, the one global emote, what's an orc ain't allowed in the chat for some reason. Is this part of WA plan? Wait, what what emote? Jacksaw will get any emote that you need. Also, a wandering bear, welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your time as Not always. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Yes, quite. Yes. Yes. Thank you for the bits, Nocturne. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> uh, Alejandro uh, finished up uh, doing another video for It Takes Two, by the way. Huge thank you to Alejandro. Don't forget to check that out uh, on YouTube. Guys, we hit 30,000 on YouTube. I know it's not 100,000 and I know it's not a million, but it is 30,000 on YouTube. Thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. Huge, massive thank you to Alejandro. Um, I really appreciate you working with me, man. But we made it. We made it. We made it to 30K. We made it. Hell yeah. Um, What's next? Well... Today, we're ogres. 
Okay, so I know I was going to do Nurgle solo, but we're going to do an eight man, uh, I think like in two days or something, which it won't be a, a, like back to back sessions, by the way. Also, um, 3D, I'm just going to say 3D. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for resub and uh, happy four months. So I really want to play Ogres before they officially release. And today I will be doing solo Scrag and tomorrow I will be doing Grease's Skulltooth. And he, I, I picked him because I think tomorrow is probably going to be like a 10 hour session. I'm, I'm almost positive. Um, and tomorrow I will be doing co-op with, can you guess? That's right. Kraken. He's going to be doing Scrag. I'm going to be doing Greases. So today for solo, I'm going to do Scrag. It's all ogre from here. We're doing ogres all day today. And today... It's just me. It's just you and me. I know you guys have had a lot of the boys back to back for hours and hours. And I've been pretty quiet because God, is it hard to talk with those big boys? Um, but, and you guys just want a little bit of me. That's why we had a date before Warhammer uh, stuff. So today you guys have me all to yourself. Just me, just you and just Scrag. Are you guys excited? No males, no males. Just just Ogre, just Scrag and me and you. It's like you guys Scrag's the third wheel and it, you and me are on a date. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Also Prut Prutaj, uh, welcome back for 9 months. Hello. Uh love your content. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Solo stream with me. Yay. 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 Woo. Yay! No boys! Woo! No stinky! No stinky boys! Woo! I love the dink donk. Oh my gosh. Uh, what's next? What's next? Oh, today, today, today. Do you know what? Do you know what's after the stream? Do you know what's after the stream? Do you know what's after the stream? D and D. It's my first D&D session in a billion years, and it's with Juniper. Tomato! I get to be in a D&D in a session with Tomatey. Tomatey himself and Lawman. Lawman is coming to join us. I love the heck out of Lawman. And Shane. Oh, God. There's lots of cool stuff. I spent hours last night going over my character. I can't wait to talk about it. I can't wait for you guys to see everything Brett's got cooking up. Um... It, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna definitely I'm gonna bring you guys over to Brett's channel when we're done today And it's gonna be a lot of fucking fun. Woo! Ghost, uh, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. I don't know why I have so much energy I, I think I got like a decent sleep last night. That could be it. Look at the shadows God, this is such a cool program I'm Casting shadows Woo! Woo! Anyway are you playing Ogre for D&D? No. I am not. Uh, let's see. So there was a patch this morning, though, for Warhammer. Uh, so I have a little... I mean, like, I honestly wasn't supposed to start the stream until 30 minutes anyway. But the patch was like an hour long, so it's got about 25 minutes left. So I figured we could watch some ogre videos together. What do you guys think? I mean, you can talk to me for like 30 minutes, right? Right, 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 right. And then we can watch some ogre stuff. Hi, Supid. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. We got Hootie in here. How you doing, Hootie? Hi, 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 hi. Woo! I have I can't believe I have this amount of, of energy. Dude, I I hate to say it. Like, I love all the boys, also Necros. Welcome back. Almost a year. Hi. Your blood can never be boring. Uh, I love the boys, but God, it will be nice to have a solo break today. Jesus Christ. I think Warhammer needs to fix uh, the whole, like, I love, I love that we can do all of our turns at the same time. But you just want to, like, read something or, like, move your little character. And the pop-up is like, so-and-so is in the middle of a conversation, so you have to wait. And you're just like... Please. Ugh. But anyway, yeah. Play the ogre song as we talk. Okay, 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 all right, all right, all right. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, okay. My God, my God. I'm just kidding. You didn't. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh. And then after my session zero, I. 
I have to go to the dentist. More back rooms. Oh my god. Guys, did you know that on Saturday I'm doing an unfiction stream entirely about the back rooms? And when we're done doing the back rooms unfiction, I'm gonna hop into VR and do the back rooms map. Yes. Yes. I've not heard of uh, Ogre Battle. I have not. No. Back rooms. If you guys don't know what back rooms is, here's a little sneak peek. Welcome to the Project KV31 Research and Development Team. In this short, informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. What is Project KV31? Project KV31 pertains. <sighs> That's just a little peek into Saturday. So if you're like, I hate ogres, I hate Warhammer. One, you probably shouldn't be here. And two, good, because we're doing back rooms on Saturday. Um, yeah, I know. I heard that they quit. So I'm ready to take it on. Um, okay, so we had, what did I see? Uh, Total War Warhammer 3 ogres. And there was like... Something that I wanted to watch. Ogre's first look. Uh, this. Warhammer 3 Ogre's Kingdoms Explained. We could do roster. Let's do this real quick. Do you have no voice in your ear but the more? Do you thoroughly enjoy meat? If so, you might be an ogre or an ogre kingdoms kind of guy. In the first part of this army guide, we're going to look at their roster I and all the units within this? and what they're... I'm playing him tomorrow for the co-op campaign with Kraken. And I, I wanted to play him more, which is why I'm doing him tomorrow. And I'm not doing a super long stream today, so I was starting with Scrag. Uh, Kraken's going to be Scrag, but I'm really excited to play him. He just looks like a beast of an ogre. They're all supposed to be doing for the army. And no, I did two, not hear that, Noel. What the heck? Strengths and weaknesses of the ogre kingdoms. So let's go. Beginning with the ogre leaders. Lords, let's First go. First up on the scales and breaking them. Greasus, Greasus Gold Tooth, Gold, your main legendary lord for Woo! the Ogre Kingdoms. He is a pure melee lord with great combat stats, lots of armor piercing weapon strength, bonus versus large on that as well. But with pretty beefy melee attack, he can take on non-large stuff too. A little bit lacking in the defenses with not a great deal of armor or melee defense, but his large HP pool helps him out a bit there. I like that he said HP. For his spells and abilities, he's got everyone has their price, a single target melee attack and leadership reduction, perhaps most useful for making things route a bit quicker, stand your ground, a good old defensive buff to the area, scepter of titans, a buff to himself. Yes, we'll figure this out individually in a second. Let's keep going. Scrag. Slaughterer. He is more your anti-infantry choice and a caster as well, so can provide you the magic, which Greasers can't. His combat stats are okay. Nothing too crazy, though. Decent weapon strength, armor piercing, anti-infantry bonus. So he really God, look at how great his little, like, nubby... The, it looks, like, absolutely grotesquely disgusting. And I love it. We gonna play it? Yeah. So the reason why we're not playing it right now is because I'm waiting for a patch. So the patch will be done in about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna get to it. So get your Fighting snacks. In the crowd. Get your coffee. Nice charge bonus as well, but... With not a lot of armor or melee defense, he's got to be a little bit careful diving into the. This middle is who of I'm playing here. today. Infantry will probably not do him any favors. For spells and abilities, he has extra ingredients. This is part of being an ogre caster. Increases power recharge basically, so it gives you more magic to play with. Recharges in melee, and then all the spells from the law of the Great Moor. Lots of damage spells in there. Some support abilities as well. It's a pretty versatile little law book. There's a heal as well. That's pretty important. A bunch of usual stuff here. Then we have Wall Breaker and Ogre Charge again. You're going to see that on all Ogre type units, even the normal infantry. Blood Gruel, this is a heal for himself when he casts. So whenever he throws a spell out, he'll get a little heal. That's the passive of the Law of the Great Moor. Then he has Cauldron of the Great Moor. This is a damage boost and healing, but only for Gorgia units in the army. But it is constant and gets them wherever they are on the map. So 
Scrag can do well teamed up with Gorger units, basically. Okay, let's see what else we got for infantry. Regeneration while he's in melee. He does have the melee defense and the shield. If you brought the Law of the Great Moor, you have a heal spell there as well, so that could help him stay alive even better if you really wanted to try and make it I, even I'll more be honest. I'm actually really looking forward to this. Nurgle is always going to be my number one. Like, that, that's never going to change. But I am looking forward to playing some... Because I'm going to be playing Nurgle on our eight-player campaign, but fuck, Nurgle is slow. He's so slow, both in, like, Lord and in just campaign and growth and, and everything so it'll be really nice to have ogres since ogres are so just like quick and pushy and absolutely obliterate everything so nurgle is a pain to play but i love him tanky pretty supportive as well with some of those abilities so overall a nice generic lord which combines the good melee with the caster in one if you want the cheapest of the cheap lords, though, you can get the Tyrant, who is purely focused on melee. Why do they have weapon, little, strength, like, guards on their bellies? Lots of melee attack, beefy charge bonus, decent armor on this boy as well. The spells and abilities. He's What's next? What's next? What's next? Enemy unit. I just want to figure all this stuff out by myself. I just want to see what they look like. Strength there and melee. Up front, getting stuff. Focus. Heroes. Yes. Your first hero choice, a caster, the fire belly. Of course, Ooh. coming with the law of fire, and that is his unique selling point, as no other caster in the army can. Gotta protect that. their eating has machine. Fire on his melee attacks as well, so good against. So they don't get disemboweled. His weapon strength. Yo, that is the best answer I've ever seen. So they don't get disemboweled because it's the biggest part of their body. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You're very smart. Also, welcome on in. If you don't know me, my name is Lena. Hi, I do like Warhammer. Um, and I'm going to be playing a lot of it. Uh, a new Warhammer channel? Maybe. It's pretty good. Armor piercing. Nice Tommies are sacred to ogres. I didn't know that. Low armor, low melee. Amplifying it by 40%. This guy's the, the butcher. Health, though, as it does damage him. Oh my god. Spell resistance to himself. Fucking rad. He's got a magic missile that reduces speed and melee defense. Look at his, got... look at his little, like, is this his skin? Is this a big giant piercing on his fuck? Is this, wait, is this his broken horn put over here? Bro, this is so good. Got a breath spell. He's got not yes, I love Skaven, by the way. Plus Thief Stone, which gives him stalk and Ew, that's so, so really fucking disgusting. See, and it gives him a damage resistance. He also has loner, which will increase. <laughs> I don't know why that feels fucking horrendous, like, like. I don't know why that's speed so gross to me. Such low armor leadership and I love the Knoblers. I fucking love Knoblers, dude. They're like they're like stupider and worse than goblins, but they're so fucking good. Oh my god, like they have little pots on their heads. Oh so good. In melee defense, they don't really stick around long for anything. <laughs> Another unit with a similar function, but slightly more useful, the Noblar Trappers. Pretty much the same deal in melee, not gonna last long. They're like little rats. Get in the way of things. These ones do have Stork, though, and Vanguard deployment. No, so they're not goblins. Sneaky, they're kind of like goblins, but not. Back line, perhaps. They do have a ranged attack as well, which isn't massively strong or massively ranged, but is decent enough to do a little bit of damage, especially if you can flank enemy infantry, maybe... Except it's slightly renamed. Maybe some stats are slightly different. Here we got I think this maybe guy. the Warhammer 2 version is armor. We got this guy. Campaign first, most probably. As they're just <gasps> what is this? All, especially with frontline rear charges. You Look at him. Serious leadership penalties. So yeah. This is nice bad. Hey, thank you for the bits. You want to flank around with. Preferably maybe Vanguard deploying them behind the enemy army. And then we have the Man Eaters. So these are kind of the better versions of normal ogres. So you've got the Ogre Bulls and all of their variants. And then you've got the Man Eaters like and all pirates. of their variants. And Man Eaters are just superior in many ways. They've got armor-piercing weapon strength and more of it, for one. They've got a lot more leadership, which helps them... These guys. This? Are these like the little dogs that or you kind of use to route? Unit. Very fast and lots of weapon strength, good melee attack, nice charge bonus, great for running down infantry, especially missiles, and maybe going after some artillery as well. Okay. Not the toughest in the world, though, with only 30 armor and 28 melee defense, which also makes them pretty liable to go into rampage. It is going well. Still How good are for you? their job, though, of flanking around, chasing things down, maybe getting after skirmish cav, as they are one of the faster units in the Ogre Kingdom's Okay, okay. Now. 
And then there is an Iron Fist's version, which is pretty much the same deal as the infantry. The Iron Fist version has a shield and thus has a bit of protection from missiles and also has slightly more melee defense because of that as well. Otherwise identical to the previous unit and has the same role, flank around, hit this things really in the cool. back, hit them in the front if you want. Okay, who are these? Are these little piggies? Armor, melee attack, weapon strength, charge bonus. They just hit a good bit harder, but have the same role. Flank around, hit things in the back. They'll do even more damage than the Mornfang cavalry. They have that slight protection from missiles with the Iron Fist as well, which gives them that little extra melee defense too. Okay. So pretty much the same as the Mornfang cavalry, just more oh, money. It's a rhino? A better unit. I don't know why it looked like a little pig. <laughs> that will do a better job of the same role. Okay. Pretty much anything. Their low armor and melee defense means they're very susceptible Giant. to missiles, though, and to being surrounded, which can make them somewhat more survivable against things that don't have wow. high numbers, like monstrous infantry or single entities. It causes terror Infantry as they well. can get surrounded by, and that can do a lot of damage to them. Despite his 12,000 health, which is a hell of a lot, a giant can go down pretty quick if you're not careful. But otherwise, great for just damaging anything and everything. If you want something more ogre specific. So Kraken was telling me about this uh, before that apparently this is actually its bone that it's like so dumb and it's just like so eager to be like fighting. It hit like wool and rock so many times it just peeled back all of its fur and skin and this is its actual bone showing and this is like w what it, it looks like now. There is the big boy Stonehorn. This thing is an absolute tank with massive horns. It's kind of like a big chariot. It has lots of armor piercing weapon strength with a bonus versus infantry and a nice charge bonus. So good for charging through infantry. Lots of armor on it as well, but with low melee defense of only 28, you don't want to leave it in prolonged combat getting surrounded for too long. So best to try and keep it charging every now and again, maybe every 15 or 20 seconds. Move okay. it onto a new target so it can get its charge bonus again and just keep maximizing that damage. Has a missile resistance to That's help it survive metal. and also causes okay. terror, so can charge around and try and terrorize units off the battlefield, but otherwise just a big tough monster to stop that can do a lot of damage. So that's another thing that I really want to be on top of learning is that also, hi, welcome on in everyone, is learning how to properly use all the units. And I think that when I was in a really big, even like a four or five man campaign, I don't really get the proper ability to sit and look at all the stats and see what what units are good against what units and how to use them. And I often get a little bit bothered if like it could be anyone. So if like Kraken or Lawman were like, you use these guys and you put them here and you do this with that. It's I learn better when I when I read up on it and I figure it out myself so that I can retain the knowledge. So I want to be able to be like, okay, I'm going to um, get a unit of lead belchers into my my party. And these are good against these units. So I would probably like place them behind these other units. And this unit is going to be good for a flank. So maybe hide these in the trees and then come from behind so that you can route them. To have all of that knowledge... Um, and understand that perfection on my own is something that I am wanting to achieve. And I feel like that will be really useful in battles rather than putting them in big chunks and then going forward. Because each unit is unique and important in its own way. So, yes. Her attack is quite long range and has explosive damage as it is cannon. So it's more artillery in nature. You've used all that ammo. I Damn. Damn. A great tool as anti-large and essential for any kind of defensive strategy. As is the Noblar Scrap Launcher. This though is more your anti-infantry artillery as the missile does break up into several pieces scattering over a small area. So best against infantry, no armor piercing damage but the damage yeah, is... Yeah, that's, that's a good point. We, you should get yelled at a lot. I could tell that there was like a little bit of hesitation when I'm in battles with my friends. Um, being like, okay, these are really important units. You have to do this and that. And I just want to be reliable and know that, that people will be like, yeah, she knows what she's doing and she knows what these units are for. I, I like really strive to be that good at Warhammer. I know that sounds maybe really stupid, but I love Warhammer and I want to be able to be relied on. And then even like someone ask me questions. Hey, you're really good at Nurgle. What, what in particular are these best at? You know, or like if I do a 1v1, which is why I didn't do it when we were doing campaign. 
um just like be unstoppable so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be playing a lot of this game <laughs> it's pretty high big range on this as well at 420 nice bit of ammunition again can go into melee but don't really do that unless it's run out of ammo but the overall purpose of this thing is for being anti-infantry and being part of that as a grand game plan. If you want more anti-large, then you'll bring the Iron Blaster Cannon instead. All these different kind of ranged units, though, do give the Ogres a lot of versatility in how they approach their attacking plans. So there we go. The Ogre Kingdoms in all their glory with all of them. Okay, this is going to be pretty good. Now let's get... I think Scoey has a, no a new video... Or something that we have not watched. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did he not make one for ogres? I could have sworn he did. Oh, Oki. Oh, oh, wait, no? Did he not make one? I thought he did. Good night, Wally. Uh, what was it that he did? Uh, Nurgle. I thought I, this was... Or was it Oki? Am I... Do I have dyslexia right now? Nurgle Warhammer 3. Noblars. That, that, there it is. Noblars. Where is it? Oh, oh, Okoi. I was saying... I was using an S. This. Here we go. Titanium blades, they cut you diamonds. I'm not wearing any diamonds. I'm so excited to try cafe. I heard it's really hard though. Oh my god, I did not think he was gonna do that. That scared me. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Dude, c Look at that. Dead. much oh god Woo! okay we've got approximately three minutes and 20 seconds before we go live with scrag are you guys ready what what can we kill for three minutes Woo! ogre warhammer three um let's see let's see let's see ogre's first look I kind of wanted, there was like a, a, uh, a lore I was pretty sure that I wanted to play. Oh, here. The Ogre Kingdoms. Okay, here we go. Yet this is a... To the far east of the Dark Lands lies one of the largest and most dangerous kingdoms known in the world of Warhammer. Yet, this is a place that not too many have been able to witness with their own eyes. But the yeah, few see? who have... You see that his, like, fur and is all, like, pulled back, like, this little bit of, like, muscle tissue? He's just, like, rammed so many times, just ripped it to pieces. ...gone there and actually made it back. Tell tales of massive ogres that wander the mountains. Of unnatural blizzards that never end, and rare creatures not found elsewhere. This kingdom is mostly made up of the commonly obese ogres, giant humanoid beings with Scrag, a never Scrag, satisfied Scrag, appetite Scrag, for Scrag. fighting and potentially more importantly, eating. What started as a nomadic group of seemingly wandering ogres soon became a legitimate power within the world, controlling the vast territory known commonly as the Mountains of Morn. Within their own hard-earned homeland, the ogre kingdoms are made up of several tribes that constantly fight for power and control. Of no, Greasus is who I'm more excited for. I While love Greasus Goldtooth. I love him. Ogres that live nomadically throughout I made an open statement when I was looking at the ogres with Kraken yesterday, and I was like, I don't know what's happened. Like, because I, I generally have been, I, I, I've known my 3D work is known for really like stylized, sexy women. But for whatever reason in the past like year, I guess I just really like big boys. I like big boys. I don't know. I like the bear type aesthetic and I just think it's it's a little sexy. I don't know. I grease this gold tooth got something on me, that big belly and the little chonkiness, Nurgle with this, you know, big, big round rotund. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I think I have like I have a thing for beautiful sexy women like and cute 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 like maybe like i don't know cute girls and sexy babes but then but then on the other side of the spectrum i just oh i think i i think i like them thick i don't know i i, I just oh uh, it's, it's just like the power of the two opposites right like i'm gonna be real with you i'm th i'm thin i'm thin i've got a nice like kind of juicy bum and and, and thighs I am short, but I'm thin and I'm fit, you know, I, and I, I take care of myself. But then mix that with like this kind of like bigger, heavy set guy. Oh, it's like such a juicy combination. You just want to, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I, maybe, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I just, it's, it's, it's hot. Services as mercenaries in exchange for payment. I like Greasis. The true pride and glory <laughs> of this massive race lies with the ogre kingdoms <laughs> established within the territory surrounding the mountains 
This is partly due to the fact that ogres that live there spend less time moving their homes and can instead focus on fighting, eating, and building up infrastructure until permanent settlements were built. Stare. Almost <gasps> I love this so much. Not feasting and gorging themselves with tremendous amounts oh. of food and drink. These savage warriors pillage and loot any village or settlement that stakes a claim too close to the mountains of Morn. While the You're an Aphrodite and Hephaestus kind of person, are you? <laughs> it is not the case that they are mindless and have incorporated both magic and even machines. Okay, I actually really want to watch the rest of this, but it's time. The game is ready to launch. I, I, I want to watch this lore video with you guys at some point. This is a very, very good lore video. I'm going to put you guys over here. I'm going to load this game. I'm so excited. Okay. Loading up the game now. Loading it up. Woo! It's happening. Okay. It's, it's coming. It's on its way. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, I just want to, come on, I just want to play, I just want to play the ogres. I've been thinking about it. I took a day off yesterday and all I could think about it was this. Uh, I only know Warhammer 40k. I'm on this. Dude, you, dude, if you like 40k, you, you have to like this. Like, it's, it's just, it's so, it's good. It's good. Come on. Come on, here we go. Okay, now, I will warn you guys, the reason why there's a billion fucking VODs is that this game, for whatever reason, crashes my fucking OBS. Um, so, if it happens, I apologize. Sit tight. But, welcome! I gotta, let's change all the settings, actually. Let's not do a welcome yet. Let's change some graphic settings. Um, can you guys help me figure out... Oh, that's, that's probably not helping. Um, I wanna keep that high. Uh, is there anything else that we can change here without overloading me with shit from the chat, please? Um, just to ensure that we're running this properly with my VTuber here. Uh, Snowborn! Oh my god, 11 months. Nurgle Hype, hello, how are you doing, Snow? And uh, Zelos06, welcome. Thank you so much for subbing to the channel. It's lovely to meet you. Low Shadows, okay, that is a very simple uh, suggestion. It Only off, there's only off. I would do ultra. I do want to do ultra, but my VTuber model is really heavy, so I can't do anything too crazy, unfortunately. A gremlin model would help a lot, but I, I don't want to use... I feel like I like this model for playing this game. 2D portholes! Yes, where where is... Well, I don't think we'll get there, but I don't know where you change the portholes to 2D. Where is that? Also, uh, Assassins, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Below unit size. Unit detail. Tree. Into alien texture, grass, unit, porthole. 2D. Okay. Let's try this. Let's try this, yeah? Uh. Strippings was smooth this morning. New NVIDIA drivers? Wait, was I supposed to update my NVIDIA drivers? Also, Stinky McFart Nuts, welcome back for 11 months. Almost a year. Uh, Clawson might help. Wait, so in. Oh, I have to update my NVIDIA drivers? Hang on. One second, guys. I have a little bit of a sniffy nose. Uncheck proximity fading, okay. That will take a while? Yeah, I don't- it's, Someone should have warned me about this prior to my stream starting, maybe? <laughs> maybe! Your model will crash? Okay. And the new drivers coincide with Warhammer? God dang it! Okay, as long as it doesn't crash my stream, I don't mind. I'm load uploading, or uh, starting up. 
my NVIDIA drivers right now. I'm sure the new drivers aren't completely necessary. Okay, chat. Do I update my drivers prior to loading up the campaign or do I not? Go. You don't need to. Yes, don't update. Maybe. We'll be fine. If it crashes OBS, I don't want to do it. Stripping may have been having problems because the, th the 3090 was poorly optimized. I'd update them. Yes. It will 100% crash OBS. Oh my god. Alright, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Let's just go. We're going. Um, New campaign. Okay, we're gonna do Scrag. We'll just see how it goes, yeah? This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic turned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here in the north? Is he alive? Wounded and dying. And present in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. Bellacor! I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Urson's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the forge of souls, deep in the realm of chaos. And I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. Let's do this. Sorry, I'm just excited. All right, ogre kingdoms. Ogres are a race of large humanoids, tough, vicious, and always hungry. Semi-nomadic in nature, wandering ogre tribes can be found wrecking their way across the known world. Yet, no matter how far away they may be, all ogres consider the scattered tribal kingdoms that dominate the slopes and river valleys of the mountains of Morn to be their rightful, hard-earned homeland. 
They fight as thugs, bandits, and mercenaries, picking on the strong and the weak alike, battling mighty foes and powerful kingdoms thousands of leagues away. They do this for the alluring promise of gold, plunder, and most importantly, meat, for their endless destruction and looting serves only to appease their gluttonous appetites and their ever-hungry god, the Great Maw. Oof, I'm excited. The cool thing about doing solo with me as well is that I get to read everything and I like reading. I like reading a lot and I don't get to do that with the boys. I love you boys, but I like to read. More solo campaigns, please. Ogres, milady, let's do it. Now, if you guys don't know, today I am going over... Ooh. Ultimate time. Legendary? Manual saves are not allowed during this campaign. Oh, this sounds so nice. Okay, but for now, let's do it here because we're not going to be playing for very long. <clears throat> no, 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 no. It's just that because when I play with the boys, we don't have any time to read or do anything. So so tomorrow, the, the ogre I am most excited for is Greasus Goldtooth. Oh, God, he gets me going. Um, Over time, Greasus Goldtooth is the baddest and most powerful ogre, tyrant of all the ogre kingdoms, a master of bribery, the ogre tyrant has always used his considerable wealth as a way to inspire greed and confusion amongst his enemies. Yet Greece's rampant success has not diminished his greed or his all-consuming desire to conquer everything he sees. Mwah! Mwah! But we're not doing this today. I will be doing this for the long, I'm sure, 10-hour campaign tomorrow. Today, we are looking over Scrag the Slaughterer. The butcher of butchers. I don't really like him as much. He's not that cute. I don't know why. I don't like if I had to say one was more cute. I like him. I don't know why. He's not as cute. You know what I mean? Scrag the Slaughterer is the legendary prophet of the Great Maw, revered, revered by many who see him as the living embodiment of their god. Dragging his massive meat pot behind him, Scrag seeks out the brutal thrill of battle, hacking and ripping at his enemies in a glorious blood-filled fueled dedication to the Great Maw. All right. I'm excited. Are you guys ready for our solo campaign with Scrag? Can I get some uh, ogre emotes in chat? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I need it. I need it. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. The Ogre Kingdoms, a group of greedy, brutish tribes that fight with each other over riches and meat, are found in the east across the mountains of Morn. <clears throat> Oft times their violence spills out beyond the mountains, and so the ogres roam far, occasionally even welcomed as mercenaries. Scrag, the prophet of the Great Maw, is such a wanderer, and that is why he makes such an ideal candidate for this quest. I trek across the chaos wastes, avoiding the slave patrols in the dark lands, and at last reach the ogre kingdoms. I fear I will not have long to make my case before the audience gets hungry. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Also, uh, my game runs a little bit slow because I didn't have enough room to put it on my SSD, so we're going to hang out for a little bit. I'm also really curious how the solo campaign goes compared to multiplayer. Like if there's more like story-like elements than playing it with other people. Yeah, I yeah, I like ogres. I don't know, I like all of them. I I just like this game. I don't know. 
Also, hi, Rylex. Welcome, everyone. Welcome on in. If you're new to the channel, it's lovely to meet you. If you're here because you like Warhammer, thank you for giving me a shot. I hope you enjoy your stay. Um, and I hope that you're excited and just as excited as myself for Warhammer. You should do audiobooks. I think that would be kind of fun. I don't know if I have a voice for it, but I like reading. I love Skaven. <laughs> Uh, no, this is just a regular campaign. Solo campaign for Scrag. Yeah. But tomorrow will be a co-op campaign with Kraken. Yes, yes. I, I loved Warhammer 2. I didn't play heaps, but I played enough to, to know what's going on. What's your best Skaven impression like? No, I'm not even going to try. I'm going to just completely embarrass myself. Uh. Favorite Skaven Lord. Um, I don't remember what his name is, but it's the one that is, that ha is like, completely played. He's, like, the most gross-looking. He's really kind of small. Um, I don't like the big one with that, like, builds shit and he's a machine. I don't really like that one. I think, yeah, Skrulk. Lord Skrulk, I think it is. Oh, straining! Thank you! Can Pugsley try a Skaven impression? He would just be like, squeak, squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't like mecha stuff. I've never been into mecha stuff at all. I've definitely been more of an organic kind of fantasy person. Also, Twitch, thank you so much for the bits. And thank you. Here we go. The flesh of the bear. Feast to honor Greasus the over tyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time is out, wizard. No. Put him in the stew. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the pot! Flesh, <laughs> Please wait! The dog is a bear! Uh -oh. You can't devour uh -oh. it! It's very laggy. I'm sorry, guys. Here. Meet God flesh. Sorry. Oh, no. And your God, the great maw. I can smell it now. Roast God ribs. Sorry, guys. Like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the game's the unoptimized at the moment. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. One drop. The ogres get the rest. That is the deal. I don't know why during this, like, painted story mode, the game completely fucks itself. God dang. Our goal is to claim Urson. The ogres will eat their weight in god flesh and throw the leftovers into the great maw. Oh my god, I'm so nervous about OBS crashing now. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, great maw. What should I do with this piece of gristle? Does it go in the pot? No. First, we listen to him. Then we can eat him. Oh my god, the game. Okay, just give it a second. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see what I can do. The game is definitely... I'm like, I can't even move things on my computer right now. Hang on. Come on, come on. Okay, one second, one second. 
it's like it's just the game itself i don't even think it has anything to do with my vtuber at the moment because i i can't even watch it maybe i do need to update the drivers i'm going to close my vtuber but i i can't even get to it so we're just we're, we're just gonna vibe here a second My poor baby computer. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of evening out. It's kind of evening out. It's getting a little bit better, getting a little bit better. Yeah, if my OBS crashes, I'll update the drivers, no problem. It's a little bit better. Ripe for plunder. But perhaps that's a riskier strategy. I don't know why it's mine now. <laughs> Listen to your gut, Great One. Let its rumble guide you. And together we will seek Urson and finally sate the... I don't know what happened. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry for that. I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I'm going to make my VTuber a little bit smaller and see if that makes any difference real quick. Just a teeny tiny little base here huh weird I would if you guys can update I I I would update if I were you um I'm still running a little bit slow hmm what's a vtuber well you see that's me it's crazy that it's just fine now, but the moment I tap in... We, we, let's just fix some options here. Um, let, let me let me read this real quick, and then we'll see if we can make it any better, yeah? Because there's still options. Like, I just have to make everything low. Meat. Ogre armies gain meat from battles, from local settlements, and from ogre camps, which they use for unit upkeep. Surplus meat may be sent to the Great Maw to gain bonuses. Ogre camps. Ogre armies may create camps in enemy territory to assist with recruitment and resupply. Some ogre lords and heroes may earn a name for themselves by performing certain feats. And once earned, a big name confer bonuses on the ogre character that bears it. Ogre factions may be offered contracts from time to time by others to attack certain targets because we are mercenaries. Scrag, I travel with you rather than the over tyrant. For who better to seek a god than one who talks directly to them? But first, we must deal with these dwarfs. Guided by the Great Maw, you have traveled far from the Ogre Kingdoms and into the Grey Mountains. The trouble is, it's full of dwarves. One of their throngs approaches. See them off! Okay, so let's go to... Can we do uh, options? Um, let's go to advance. What can we fix to run this a little bit better? What do you reckon? Change from window to full screen? Do you, do you think that will make a difference? Oh, welcome back, score. Nice to see you. No, it seems to be just as slow, guys. Cloth? Okay. Let's go one at a time. Cloth. Did I just go over it? Texture. Oh, cloth simulation. We can turn that off. Shadow and water. See. Tree, shadow, grass, terrain, building. Is there something specific for water? Am I am I silly? What's going on? Try Alt F4. Hey, thanks. Um, I am I hitting over sixty FPS? So you might want to turn VSync on. Okay, let's try VSync on. 
also yes it is pre-release guys so i imagine when i continue to stream this it won't be as bad it seems like it just made it way slower let me let me try that again Let me set it with super screen space reflections off, lighting quality low, just shadow. Okay, let's do shadow detail off. And then main. This should have been. If it's 1920 by 1080, then. Um, then it's not going to fill up my screen. It's going to be really weird, but I can see if it makes a difference. Like, it's such a- it's so small on my screen now. I can barely see it. It's so tiny. Do you think that made a difference, guys? I feel like it didn't. Run in window. Well, my, my actual monitor is 1440, so now it's just like this tiny little thing on my screen. <laughs> um, okay, but I can't... Grass and trees. Okay, let's go to tree. Low. And grass, low. It's gonna suck! I wanted the map to look good for you guys! Well, the UI scale is already at 100%. Um, there was somewhere about running frames per second that I, I don't remember where that is here. Um, I don't know what this game is running at, guys. You're asking me heaps of questions now. Um, come on, I want to move. I can't. Why can't I move the game to like the center or something? It's like in the corner of my screen and it's really awkward. I'm going to change this back real quick just to see if it like if it's actually that big of a difference or not because I can't really see that well. Yes, I played Nurgle for like four or five days. I feel like this is just the same as it was a minute ago. What do you guys think? The map doesn't look as good at all. It makes me so frustrated. Like, what is this grass detail? That makes me so sad. Um, I think I'm just going to listen to Jacksaw for a moment. Jacksaw, do you feel like... Does this look fine? How is this running for everyone? Let me see my task manager real quick. It says 3D is running at 99%. I don't know what that means. GPU, 3D, 99%. Everything else is fine. Why don't you try saving and then reset, you reckon? I mean, V-Sync is on, by the way, so. Oh, uh, Ibu-ri? No, he didn't. <laughs> mm, yeah, let's do a, a quick game reset, I think. Because we, we changed a lot of stuff here. Um... 
Yeah, we already turned it on. Tree detail medium, medium, grass detail medium, shadow detail. I'm just going to turn it back to medium. And then I'm just going to... I can turn this to... Jacksaw, do you think me running at 1920 by 1080 is going to make a difference? Okay, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to restart. Oh, never mind. That's fine. It looks like it's in the center. And then I will change this. I will move it down a little bit. I can move you guys over here now and see you guys. Okay, how's this feel? Feel good? If you untick run in window, it should fill your screen. Better? Smooth again. Okay, let's continue the game, shall we? Excuse me for all of these uh, uh, issues. Okay. Choppy, but better. Dang it. Okay, well, I'm sure when I get the NVIDIA drivers running, it won't be as bad. He's good, comrade. Okay. First, we attack. Battle is upon us. Study your options carefully. The enemy are close. Blood will be spilt. All right. Decisive. Get in my stew. Let the hunger. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency mm -hmm. or brutality can be worth more. Treasury, meat, or units replenished. I kind of want meat, but maybe we need gold. A number of options are available to the victor after battle, such as killing or releasing prisoners, and these are presented on the post-battle panel. Learn more about post-battle options here. Uh, but I want to know meat. I want more meat. I want meat! Guided by the Great Maw, you have traveled far from the Ogre Kingdoms and into the Grey Mountains. We kill the dwarves. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. I really like the solo campaign. Yeah, if you guys are aware that CA has like really unoptimized gameplay, especially because it's not fully released. And there was also a huge patch this morning, but it didn't make a difference. Just bear with me and enjoy the game alongside me with the issues. Please, I beg of you. Through his recent actions, Scrag the Slaughterer has unlocked the big name Gore Harvester. Gutrag. Powerful heroes such as the Butcher can act independently for now, but get them to join your army to bolster your host. Heroes are versatile, independent agents that can perform actions against hostile targets on the campaign map. Heroes may also be added into an army in which they can fight as powerful single-person units in battle. Okay, click you. Go into my army. Hello? Ready to cook. Can I not do that yet? Embed them into to your oh, okay, see. Open those dwarf holds. You need more clubs. Best call upon some fresh meat. Okay. There we go. Is this sound loud and clear, by the way? Is it loud enough for you guys? All right, he is in my army. 
Let's continue this way. Honestly, let's see if we can attack this one. Decisive victory. And your warriors are prepared for battle, mighty lord. Let's do Study it. Study your options, nevertheless. Encircling the enemy and starving them out may be the wisest course of action. Is that loud enough, or is it too loud? Die all. At last, the defenses have fallen, my lord. The fate of those that remain is yours to determine. A new home for butchery. I, I should have played solo campaign war. This is really cool. Okay. Now let's look at our stats here. Um, Camp huddle. Population surplus one for newly deployed camps. Camp limit plus one. And army ability dismember all armies. Okay. Let's start learning this. No more. Your gifts are bountiful. Now let's look at his stats. Uh, let's see. The Maw Feasts. Offered a Great Maw. Costs negative 20%. Cavern Dweller. Chance of intercepting an army using the Underway, Beast Paths, or World Roots. Plus 20%. Um, also, you know what? In my... I'm going to look at this and see if shadows are an issue. Let me turn off shadows. That might help. Nope, it did not. Uh, Bull Gorger. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 25%. Melee attack plus 24%. Overcast spell. Bull Gorger upgraded. Inspiring presence. Unit experience gain per turn plus 75%. And can't. Okay, so campaign movement range is something I go for first usually. Uh. And let's get at least one spell or hit points. Let's go for one spell. No more. It will bring you me. Now what is this? What does this do? Well, scrap the slaughter, legendary lord, big names. Meat generated two. Gore harvester, so you can unlock names. World swallower, ever famished maw that walks. Okay. Meat provided by camps plus 25%, diplomatic relations plus 20 with all factions, and winds of magic power reserve plus 20 per turn. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is new. It's gonna cost 10 turns to get this new name. So you get big names for your ogres. That is pretty interesting. Nice. All right, let's see if we can build more stuff for our main city. Our main settlement is Gristle Valley. So let's upgrade it. Uh, to Maw Cave. Okay, and we've just taken over this one. Can we do anything with this? No. Okay. Do you wait to choose a name? I, I don't know. It looks like one is already unlocked, so I'm just going to go with the first one, and then maybe over time, as it unlocks, you can change it. There's also V Sync option V C really? Let me see. Where's there V Sync in, in V C settings? Is it general settings? V Sync. Let's try that. Maybe it makes a difference. Not really. I've unlocked the big name Ever Famished. Also, thank you, Viz. The riches in the it kind of made a little difference. Garaz yeah, a little. Keep your expedition fully stocked. And what you can't spend Thanks, Viz. Can okay, so... The vaults of the Dwarven Karaks are famous for the hoarded wealth, such as riches should be yours, and while gold sustains many ogres, the rest can feast on bearded meat, break it open, and take the good stuff within. 
Settlements are cities or ports on the campaign map from which provinces are defended and controlled. Ownership of a settlement grants ownership of the territory around it. Right-click an enemy settlement in order to select army to attack. Okay. I got an enchanted item. Okay. Looks a little bit better. Slightly. Okay. These peaks may not be the mountains of Morn, but there is no reason why an ogre kingdom cannot be founded here. Once you have rid of the, these mountains of dwarves, you can then establish a powerful base to launch attacks against the human nations. Just think of all that meat! So welcome back, Runkomatic. All right, so let's... Are we attacking another place? All right, ought to resolve that shit. We're going to occupy another territory. Got a piece of armor. More armor. We have attained complete control of this province. It is now possible to issue commandment across the land. Once, oh, we already read that. You control the province, but more land must be acquired if you are to fund a successful war machine. Send out your armies to seize more territory from your enemies. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get some more people in my army, shall we? What is this, offer to the Great Maw? What is this? So you can, as long as you have enough meat, you can offer it to the Great Maw for bonuses? This is so fucking cool! Holy shit. Bloody and raw. Melee attack plus 10. Duration 10 turns. Come and get it. Campaign movement range plus 20% for 10 uh, meat. Um, fill your bellies. Global recruitment duration mi uh, minus 2 turns, minimum 1. And give me gut magic. Winds of magic, power reserve plus 5 per turn. This is so fucking awesome. Holy shit! I love this! This is such a cool thing to do for ogres. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this now because we're gonna recruit more people into our army. And then before we continue on the map, I say either we do plus melee attack or movement across the campaign. How much do your units need per turn though? I don't know, so let's see. They will provide me a more. Okay, so once we're at an actual settlement, it'll cost less than when you're across the map. So let's do some more ogre bulls. More goblins. Let's wait. Uh, oh god, we have to wait fucking three turns? Eh, okay. We wait. We wait. Let's see. Uh, what next? Wait. Blood Gruel. Triggers when casting spell replenishes hit points. Okay. Brain Gobbler. Leadership minus 16. Overcast spell. Brain Gobbler upgraded. Cooldown negative 30%. Tooth Cracker. Armor plus 30. Missile resistance plus 22. And Bone Crusher. Greater armor piercing explosion damage. Ooh. Let's get something that heals our units. I think that would be pretty important. Thank you for this gift. Z4. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Also, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Lovely to meet you all. Thank you for sitting through the uh, little bit of the non-optimization. 12. It's next to upkeep of an army. Where? Here. Meat consumption. 12. This is interesting. So is this how much meat I need to upkeep this army? Interesting. Okay. And this is 1,500 for this army. Okay. 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 I see. I see. Interesting. Now let's upgrade our hero. Um, replenish troops. Wizard's wild form. Okay, we're gonna get this. Uh, what's next? What does this mean? Commandment available. Oh, right here. Okay, control plus four. Campaign movement range. Chance of plague spreading. Corruption. Let's just do control and growth. Growth is really, really important early game. 
All right, and turn. Ooh. Spells that give buffs are pretty bad in single player. Huh. Hmm. All right, mission successful. Successful recruit two new units. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. All right, a couple of ogres having a conflab quickly becomes a huddle as more gather around them. Your kind is fabled for its fireside revelry. Set up a camp to serve as a base for operations far from home. From such camps come a resupply of meat, fresh forces, and control of the local terrain. Okay, okay, okay. I, I would say this is a little bit complex of a game, yes, but it's worth it if you put the time into it. Like, once you start getting it, I think it's a lot of fun. And it leaves a lot of room for growth. Ogres are renowned for their nomadic ways and fireside revelry. By constructing a camp, ogre factions can provide benefits and support to their local armies, even deep inside enemy territory. Okay, so... It, I do see that... I thought you had to upgrade. So, Karad, Karak, Asgaraz. Is that this one? This one is Karak Zilfin, which is this. Karak Akraz is this middle one, and this is Bristle Valley. Okay, why is there this here, though? Multiple buildings of this type exist in this province with no additional be benefits? Okay, so I. That's what that means. So then maybe I, I wonder if I, to not have multiple buildings. How do I get rid of it to build, demol demolish building. And then maybe build something else so that it's not similar. So it'll take one turn. Um, let's see. This is a gold hoard. An ogre's love of gold comes closely after meat. So this we can upgrade for more gold. Let's see what the buildings we can build now. And dude, no questions are ever dumb. Don't ever worry about it. Don't feel like you can't ask questions. Also, I want you guys to know, I just, just, let's just put this in perspective really quick. Oops. Just, let's just have a conversation real quick. Um, listen, listen. I know a lot of us are really excited for Warhammer. And I know a lot of us, for some things, are more obvious than others. However, I just, just everyone close your eyes. Close your eyes. And just imagine your pre-order is done. Your install is completed. You just now open the game for the first time. And you have not gotten to play it because it's brand new. Someone busts open your door and they point at the screen. They go, why do you do that? You need to press this. This doesn't make sense. You need to do this. No, that spell doesn't. I read it. Don't do that spell. Trust me. Press this button. No, that's a mistake. Do this instead. And they're over your shoulder in your room, your comfortable room. Just you and your game that you've waited a long time to play. And all you hear in your eardrums is someone telling you what button to press. I need you to understand that that is what it would feel like. Now, just ask yourself. I know you are excited, but I just need you for every time that you say something like that, as much as you're trying to be helpful, I just want you to imagine someone being over your shoulder in your ears in your room while you're playing Warhammer game that you are clearly very excited about, telling you how to play a game even if you've made a stake, mistake, even if they are probably right. Maybe they've noticed something that you haven't because you're looking in other directions all over the game because you are experiencing it for yourself. I just need you to put that into perspective. Now, if you don't want someone over your shoulder... Uh, doing that to your precious game don't do it to me i'm gonna make mistakes but i i need to make mistakes so that i can learn better 
there's lots of things on this game happening and I'm going to make heaps of mistakes and it's probably going to bother you, but that's okay. Also, Danny, welcome on in. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm, I'm talking my chat a little bit like this, but hi, I'm not scary. <laughs> welcome. Nice to meet you and base. Welcome back for seven months. That's all. It's more of like, I'm not upset at all by the backseating. I just, I just want you to understand that that's what it feels like. That's all. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> I'm not mad. Yeah, yeah, it's because I, I built I built something that's similar, but the game has me has telling me, so I, I made a mistake and I'm just gonna fix it, that's all. Um What you're saying is you're coming over. <laughs> uh and thank you, Danny. Nice to meet you. Um hmm, hmm. also Ree, hi, hello, welcome, welcome. New to Warhammer as well. I'm definitely going to be reading as many things as I possibly can. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, okay, so next thing we can build. We have basic military. The building has already been constructed in this province. So we don't need this. This is the morning layer. Unlocks recruitment of Saber Tusk Pack. We could do this. We have defense. Which might be good for one of these other buildings. And then we have infrastructure. Which is there one for growth? Meat generated 10. Growth 10. And control 2. So let's make this one growth. And then when this is done being broken down. Let's make our another unit. So that we can get that second upgrade for units. Oh, but you didn't make a mistake. There's just random buildings in your area that you conquer. Okay, see, I didn't even know that. A lot of people, well, not a lot of, a few people made me think that I, that I, that I built something wrong. But in retrospect, I didn't even get, I wasn't even given the chance to see that it was already there. And I need to just reconstruct it differently. I would have gotten there eventually. <laughs> also, what's this? Dies. I want to know what that means. All right, so where are we at with our... Wow, they're already healed. Let's do one more turn. Oh, trust me, trust me. I, there, th this doesn't mean that I don't want help because I will oftentimes be like, chat, what does this mean? And I will ask you guys and you and I get to have a conversation with each other so that I can learn. I'm always willing to ask you guys questions because I know there are a lot of people that really love Warhammer. So yeah, just wait, wait for me to ask. Treatable resource? Oh, interesting. Okay. I wonder if we can... Noble recruitment is available to boost your armies far from home, my lord. Nobler trap. Yet such flexibility comes at a price. Build your forces close to home where possible. I, I, wa I want to wait two more turns. Also, looks. Hey, thank you so much for the bits. Hi, Zozo. How are you doing? There's a resource you can... Mi oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, okay. I, I'm going to wait because I want more of the little rat knoblars. Uh, we can also continue here. Um, let's see. Nobbler scavenging. Income from raiding plus 50%. Melee attack for ogre bulls units. Um, income from raiding. Let's do melee attack first and then maybe better raiding. A good man. Rewards its servants. Okay. God, I really like solo campaign. Fuck. I'm really enjoying this. The population of this province has grown under your care. And such growth may be reinvested in construction at home. In time, your meager settlements may be developed into mighty fortresses of war. Okay, so at what Rylex, Rylexander was saying, I'm so that makes me curious. If you are outside of your settlement, what I thought as a global recruitment, it costs more money than you it would if you are at a settlement. So if I go to the edge of a province, I feel like that's going to cost money. See this? The global versus like being in a settlement. So I feel like, isn't that incorrect? I love the Noblars, and I think Kraken does too. Uh, 
Also, yeah, they added health regen because we had been in fights previously. Gold was outside of territory. Okay, okay. More solo campaigns confirmed. 100%. If you get, as long as you guys are okay with the fact that I'm going to be playing a lot of Warhammer, I'm definitely going to be playing more solo. Um, at, at least minimum once a week. Local means in the region, not the settlement. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. I didn't know that. Okay. It's the same as being in a settlement. Local means the whole zone. Oh, okay. That's, see, that's good information. Okay, thank you for that. I did not know that. And so then the only benefit for staying in a settlement is for health regen. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Banana bean. Why settings on low? Can to please anyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Don't freak out. I'm just joking. It's a joke. It's a fucking. It's a joke. <laughs> this is the first time seeing this form. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <laughs> no, that wasn't a backseater. I was just. I was just pulling you up. You're fine. You're fine. All right, so let's, we can upgrade this settlement. We do have plenty of money. This settlement also can give us resources like income generated and dies. I think income generated might be important. And then let's upgrade this one more. Uh, what is this option? Big, ooh, more growth. Okay, okay, so if I, is this because, no, I'm not gonna ask the question because you guys are gonna go nuts. I think, don't answer. I think because I built something that is for income or growth that gave me another one. I don't know how this is working, but I'm keen to figure it out. Huh. Okay. Let's continue. So, so Cap, thank you for getting that sub to Banana. I have to say joke because there's been so many times where I like... I, I know, I know, I know. I find it funny pretending it's not a joke, but if I don't, there's a lot of people that are like, wow. They, I've literally seen comments where people are like, Lena's a huge bitch. And all she does is complain on her stream. And all she does is just bitch on her stream. She just complains and bitches way too much. So I feel like I have to say, I'm, I'm kidding. It's a joke. I'm not serious. I'm not, I'm not being serious. So please, I, I swear I'm not a cunt. Okay, um... <clears throat> the Let's go. It hungers. Can we get out of here? It cools. Oh, I guess because I already made... Okay, I guess I can't do movement. Unwatchable. <laughs> In search of his fourth consecutive midnight feast, one of your followers wanders off into the mountains. He returns days later bloodied, horribly scarred, and missing several fingers, and idly gnawing at a colossal stonehorn, stonehorn haunch. When questioned, he merely shrugs and then demands a snack. Bonus experience for Gutrag! I love this. My good <clears throat> I wish I was closer. Okay, next. <clears throat> See, while that heart triggers from casting a spell, it is a passive. Block of doom causes damage. Ooh, I want this. 
pan impenetrable pelt, speed plus 25, melee defense plus 24, physical resistance plus 20, good against AP damage, and the amber spear causes moderate magical damage. And we've got tolerant to toxins. I should probably get higher hit points, but god, flock of doom sounds too fucking cool. Ooh, okay. Sweet, let's go. A nobbler uh, scrap launcher? God, that sounds so cool. Raid the lands of the enemy, mighty lord. Send your warriors out to slaughter the peasants and burn their villages. Damn. Make the enemy fear you. This guy is fucking crazy. He's like, kill them. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's set everyone on fire. Let's go. The time for battle is nigh. Distribute provisions before the fighting begins. For your brutish kind I love this about ogres. Better, Holy shit. Full bellies. Meat. Ogres march and fight on their stomachs. Every ogre army carries a store of meat when out on campaign. For hungry ogres will quickly turn on each other for sustenance should food supplies run out. A pre-battle feast can be served out on the pre-battle panel to improve the fighting abilities of the ogre army in the coming battle. So what... What does this generally decrease pre-battle feast size? So if we're feasting, ah, here it is. So if we mouse over, all ogre armies are sustained by a supply of meat. Camp settlements and fighting battles will provide you a supply and surplus can be offered to the Great Maw. So consumed army upkeep, negative 20. Change this turn, negative 18. Characters, 2. So say I just like 5. I'm trying to understand exactly. Let's just say we do two, right? Let's just say we actually do this battle, which we don't need to at all. Oh, mouse over the red arrow. Oh, damn it. Let's just see what this battle is like, shall we? Once they realize they can eat the god, they're all willing to go into hell for it. Dude, right? I fucking, I really like the ogres. There's something else. <gasps> There's a model of a pirate ogre that has a nobbler dressed up like a parrot on his shoulder. S tier model. Oh my god. Meat increases charge damage. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Chunky boy Tuesday. Chunky boy Tuesday. Chunky boy Tuesday. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. This is exciting. This is exciting. Yeah, if you are new to Warhammer or Total War, uh, yeah, it, it, it can be definitely confusing. But that's okay. Okay, what, is, what does channel magic mean? I don't even want to press that yet. I'm going to press it. You have channeled winds of magic. Okay. All right. Now, what do we, what do we have here? Why make this go away? Look at the little knoblars. Oh my God. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had high graphics on, man. They look so fucking good. Look at them! Ah! <laughs> They're so cute! Look at the pots! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's a gamble? Okay, I did not know that. <clears throat> this is definitely Kraken's chat. Alright, what else do we got here? <clears throat> Oh, I hate the low resolution textures. Oh, sorry, chat. God, they look so cool, though. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> God, this is so cool. I love this. 
Okay, so... <clears throat> we can go basically all around because this is a settlement. This is a dwarf settlement. Where are the main... Guess we do we not know where the armies are coming out yet? Okay, we're just gonna go in. Let's see. Now these guys... Okay. Okay, these guys are, are okay. He has a lot to say. Yet I advise caution. You face an entrenched enemy that has had time to prepare. Be uh -huh. wary. <clears throat> uh-huh. Thank you. Settlement attack tour. This sounds fun. Also, Grim, welcome on in. Minor settlement battles. Minor settlement battles are fought over smaller settlements that lack fortified walls. The attacker can win the battle and capture the settlement by defeating all defending units. The defender may win by either defeating all attacking units or holding them off until the time limit expires. Also, uh, Mac, thank you so much for pre-ordering with my link. I appreciate it. <coughs> Constructed defenses. The defender in a major siege battle or minor settlement battle may use supplies to construct defenses at build locations throughout the settlement. Defenses may be constructed during the fighting in response to the progress of the battle. Each build location is linked to nearby supply point capture location. Defense features of major siege battle or minor settlement battles such as gates, towers, and constructed defenses are all linked to capture locations. Whoever holds a capture location controls the features linked to it. The attacker may begin the capturing process by clearing the defenders out of a capture location and positioning a unit within it. Summoned units and units that can fly are not able to capture locations. The flag of the defender will be lowered and the flag of the attacker will be raised while the capture is taking place. The defender may recapture location after losing it using the same method. Nice. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. <clears throat> they await your orders. Okay, these are generally a oh, deployment tour. I love this. So you don't get this in multiplayer. Let's let's keep going. Deployment zones. Units may be arranged for the coming fight during the deployment phase of the battle. Units can be placed anywhere within the deployment area and they are immediately repositioned when moved. Once deployment is completed, the battle begins. Also, Ace of Yazora, welcome on in, nice to meet you. As the attacker, you will lose the battle if the time limit expires. <clears throat> enemy visibility. As the attacker, you must deploy first and cannot see the enemy forces during deployment. Both the attacker and defender may conceal units and foliage, foliage during deployment if it is available. Vanguard units may be positioned outside of the deployment area. The <coughs> troops that your enemies field are both many and varied. Mastery of their strengths and weaknesses will leave you best placed to face them in battle. Take it easy, guys. Have a good day at work and thank you for the bits. You can also type exclamation point Warhammer 3. And you will get the link for my pre-order. Also, uh, Pi, Pygor, nice to meet you. Welcome on in. I hope me reading all this is okay with you guys. Infantry. Infantry units are dense formations of men armed with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Massed ranks of infantry are the main stay of most army compositions. Infantry units are often heavily armed and may be armored but are generally slow and vulnerable to being outranged by missile units or outmaneuvered by mounted units. Infantry are strong against enemies in front of them, but are vulnerable when attacked in the flank or rear. Infantry often might often fight in a battle line, which each unit protecting the flank of the next. Okay, so infantry is generally the tanky front line, but we need to protect our back and sides. 
Mounted units. Mounted units are able to move quickly across terrain, either in support of allied troops or to strike at the enemy where they are weakest. Mounted troops are highly maneuverable, but generally more expensive and fewer in number than infantry. A mounted charge can impart a big leadership shock to an enemy, particularly if delivered to the flank or rear of an enemy unit. Missile units. <clears throat> Missile units are best employed in battle to stand back from the action and fire projectiles at the enemy. Missile units will automatically fire at foes within their arc of fire at will is active. Their arc of fire is displayed when selected or when the cursor is over it. Missile units are usually lightly armored and weak in melee. Skirmish mode may be activated on a missile unit to allow it to automatically retreat from advancing foe. Lords and Heroes Lords and Heroes appear as single-person units in battle. Hand-to-hand -hand specialists are a formidable presence in any battle line, while those that wield the winds of magic can cast powerful offensive and defensive spells from afar. Lords and heroes commonly have unit abilities that provide combat bonuses to the character or their allies, or penalties to the enemy. Lords and heroes provide a leadership boost to nearby troops, and the area of this effect is shown as a blue circle around the unit when the cursor is placed over them. Is this one super handholdy? I wouldn't say it's handholdy. I think they're finally just explaining the mechanics of the game without throwing you in it into the deep end. Artillery. Artillery units such as cannons and catapults can fire projectiles at the enemy over long distances. They are most useful against a bunched infantry formations, monsters, and the walls of fortified cities. Artillery units move slowly and their crews are vulnerable if engaged in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Monsters and Giants Monsters and Giants are huge, powerful creatures that inspire terror into the enemies. They are best used for scattering and disrupting formations of enemy infantry. Monsters and Giants can also be used to attack the gates in a major siege battle. The size of Monsters and Giants makes them vulnerable to attacks by missile weapons and spears. Flying units. Some units fly over the terrain, either attacking at range or descending to engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Like mounted units, flying units can be rapidly deployed to strike at a vulnerable target or reinforce a weak point in the army. Certain lords and wizards can gain mounts that can fly. All right. Well. Okay, okay, calm down. Jesus Christ. So these guys are infantry. These guys are infantry, infantry, spear infantry. Yes, master. I'll smell ya. I'll smell ya. Hungry. Hungry. <laughs> I'll smell ya. I'll smell ya. I ain't no gobbo. I ain't no <laughs> They're not goblins. Oh my god. Hungry. <laughs> when do we eat? When do we eat? The more calls. I love Noblers. I ain't no gobbo. Take it all. Take it all. The more calls. Hey, Captain Sprinkles, welcome back. Nice to see you. My favorite race so far is definitely Nur uh, the Nurgle. Oh, Nurgle, but with Nurgle, I think my favorite are the great unclean ones. I really like those. But I don't know, Noblars are pretty cool. I want to put... Oh, wait, we have these guys too. Okay, these guys are monstrous infantry. It says unbreakable. These guys are war beasts, so these will kind of come around the sides. 
So I wonder if these are unbreakable monsters infantry. I don't know if they go in the front. So why don't we... Oh, there's a few of them. Let's group these by pressing G. Right, I wonder if you can put them... You can put them anywhere in the map. Okay, 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 okay. Um, where is the... Let's... Maybe if we come at it from two points. I don't know where they'll be. This is already a one battle, but I just wanted to hop in and see how these were like. Um, let's take some Noblars. Where's me master? Where's me master? Yes, the unclean ones do shit out nerglings, and that's why I like them. God, I used to hate talking about poop on my channel. I don't even like saying that word. Ugh, blah. Yeah, I, I just turned it off. There's like all this stuff right here. But I, I should probably keep up actually now that it's just us. Um, These, I don't know where to put these quite yet. I'll keep these guys here. There's so many Noblars. Um, the question is where are we entering? He okay, maybe here. I'm going to put all of these together. Stand I feel like Nobblers are great, right. but I'm going to put them behind. I'm going to get all these guys Die and put them together. together the uh, weak against armor, okay. Damage dealer and ogre charge. The these guys I'll put in the back. Me. These guys are anti-infantry, damage healer, ogre charge, and weak against armor, so it's the same. Honestly, to make it go quickly, maybe I just put them all here anyway. Take it all. Nobles are good at dying. And good night, Kuroi. Sorry, it took me a minute. Kuroi, I hope you have a good evening. I'm gonna move myself a little bit. Alright, these guys, I really want to see how these work. Um, I'm gonna put them... Mm, Maybe here. And then these I will... I'm just going to wait on the side with these. Alright. I'm just going to... I'm just going to start it. Alright. to position your troops accurately in battle, my lord. Drag out your formations for best effect. And these guys, there's some, but not a lot. Huh. Let's see. Let's get the supply point, maybe. So I'm gonna put them over here. Serve the ogres. Take it easy, Mr. Bubbles. Nice to meet you. Goldtooth will be tomorrow, so I'm just trying each. Uh, each of the ogres individually. Okay, good good job not moving, guys. Good job. There's so little! <laughs> we here for food! Oh, God. All right, let's get the little the lions in here. These little knoblars are taking so long. They're like, wait for me, boss. The oh, the little Lord. one running. The troops begin to flee. Run the cowards down. All right, there's some over here. All right, we got the supply point. All right, let's come from behind. They'll have no fucking idea. The great 
All right, there's so many things going on in solo mode. Holy shit. Let's see the Noblers versus the Dwarves. Let's see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby Noblars with them huge ogres. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh my gosh. Okay, also we've sieged in the back. like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh shit oh fuck that's right do you think that you can run away he doesn't stand a chance The Novor is throwing their little knives. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, yeah. Go Noblers, go! Go Noblers, go! No, you don't. And Go after him. It is too. His army will surely follow. Get him, get him, boys. Come on, Noblars. I ain't no Dobbo. Find him and kill him. Carve him. Come on, let's go, let's go. Get him, get him, get him. <gasps> he twipped. The is enemy he... general has been wounded. Get him, get him, get him. Come on! Come on, oh boy, you can do it! Come on! Come on, get up! Oh no! <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's, he's dead. He's dead. Alright, what are you guys doing over here? Y'all just fucking vibing? Alright. Take it all! Hey, right, where are my lines? Where are my line boys at? Come on, let's route these fools. Get them! way push forward and then turn around come on come on let's go let's go let's route these boys let's route these boys they're super fast oh god where did they get lions <laughs> come on oops let's go let's go lions no i didn't mean to pause it all right now turn around. <laughs> oh my god. They are fucked. 
Oh no, no, they berserked them. Or feared them. Oh god. Rampage? No, 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 no. Come on, lions. Come on, little lions. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. You guys, get over here. Get your asses over here. Kill these guys. Come on. Come on, get him, get him. Where's me master? All right, here we go. Come on, catch up, catch up. This is one little guy. They're fucked. Yeah, I'm not letting you out easy at all. Kill them all. Alright, let's get the little lions out of here. Come on, lions. Catch up with them. I know the battle's over, but I think they're out now. Okay. This one little guy left. Just one. There he goes. And he's out. <laughs> yes. Now I can end it. Sorry. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. I quite enjoyed that. Mm. In Siege, everything inside auto dies if you win the battle. Well, I just like to see them die. I want to know how these other factions play that you can't play yet. Dude! Oh, God. I want to play Cathay. So, Bed Bananas was playing Cathay yesterday. And he said it was really difficult. I am looking forward to it. Karak Zilfilin has been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Very good. It cools. Okay, we've got a few settlements now. I'm liking this, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Um, we just need one more turn for healing, which is fine. My Let's see. Bone Crusher. Tooth Cracker. We have a little bit of this as well. Bull Charge. Melee attack for... Ogre bull units, leadership plus two for Noblar units, beast riders, tools of destruction, ammunition plus five for, okay, this is probably quite good. Beast ar armor plus six for saber, turret pack, uh, beast, uh, best eaters, melee attack plus two for iron. So let's do this because I like Noblars. Uh, let's upgrade Gutrug. Um... Our replenish troops is probably important. We can build more. Let's get our building upgraded for here and end our turn. Taco Tuesday was a success. Sharper weapons do more damage, and something many ogres learn from watching their butcher at work. Melee attack plus five for all ogre bull units. The primary building shown on the province overview panel represents a settlement itself. Population surplus points earned through growth may be spent to upgrade this building, which expands the settlement and provides more building slots. All right. Your newly gained armament is magically bound to a number of companion pieces. 
Combine all parts of the suit, and its bearer will wield great power indeed. Okay. Excellent. More income? It's 2,000. Get out of here. Um, <coughs> let's see. Control, meat generated, more income, and more growth. I think I want to do more growth again, but I think I... Did I make that? No, I didn't. I made that for over here, but I'm going to make one more growth building because growth is important. Um, or... Unlocks recruitment of more of the lions. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for more growth still early on the game. Let's get something else. Uh, also, Calix, welcome on in. Thank you so much. It's lovely to meet you, and I appreciate you supporting the channel. Um, butcher spices, casualty replenishment. That's pretty good. Uh, Nobler scavenging income from raiding. Better bribes. Diplomatic relations plus 10 of the Ogre Kingdoms. Um, I'm going to do casualty replenishment rate Grow next. Grow stronger. Great more. I also... I great. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else here? The great more. Let's move forward. Profit of the great more. All right. I'm mostly picking the first one. Assistance is available should you need it, my lord. You may rely upon it. I'm generally picking the first one at first because I want to ensure I have lots of growth and movement across the map before anything and then I will slowly uh, gain more settlements and and put it more towards other things. I think everyone plays differently but that's generally how I start my campaigns. Yes, I have played total the previous Total Warhammers, uh, at least uh, Warhammer 2. Thank you, Jacksaw. <laughs> Alright, next. What is this? Such an action would surely lead to war. As glorious as that is, proceed only if you desire conflict, my lord. Skaven revealed. We have discovered the Skaven faction clan, Morbidius, hiding within the ruins of Castle Drakenfils. Hmm. Also, hi, MB. Welcome back. I like Skaven, so I don't want to declare war. However, they are in... I guess we can be friends for now, but I do like rats. We can be friends. I will move along. Alright. <clears throat> Why is it zooming out like that? I'm not doing anything. Your scouts stumble across a secret valley, home to a diminutive, 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 and hitherto undiscovered Enqueen species. Jesus Christ, Warhammer. Their hides are all the colors of the rainbow, and their manes are long and vibrant. Their eyes are huge and kindly. Truly, they are a wonder. By nightfall, every one of them is in the pot. Diplomacy is the refuge of fools and weaklings. Yet it may also serve your ambition for conquest. A pact of non-aggression can be a useful tool to bind the hands of your rivals, leaving you free to make war elsewhere. Hmm. 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 A non-aggression pact may be agreed between two factions via diplomacy. Let's check our diplomacy. I, I lead. That was really cute. I love that. The great horned rat favors Mimi. Together we seek your, your demise. Let's do a non-aggression pact. What? 
No, I'm not giving you my money. Fuck off. I'm gonna just conquer more area and area, and you're gonna see. You're, you're gonna see. So what? What is this? Grim Duraz, a ruined province capital. Movement has been disabled for this character. Movement unavailable. Dismiss events. So why? Settlement can be colonized or searched for treasure. All right, chat. I will ask. How do I do that? Why can't I do that? Oh, wait, now I can. Sorry. With empty stomachs. Secure a supply of meat here and quickly. For when hungry, your kind have been known to turn on each other for sustenance. More Skaven! Fuck off. Beware, my lord, for the Skaven infest these ruins. Legends told of mighty burrows hollowed out by the rat men beneath ruined cities. It now seems that these legends were true. Alright, I'll leave you alone for now, rat friends. But beware, I will take over more. Alright, what's this? Upgrade your main settlement before building this. Recruitment cost. Ooh! Okay, so, but to upgrade this, I need my population to become two. So I could just... When you unlock to level three. Okay, so I'll wait for that. Let's see. I should have defense on my main settlement. So, defensive growth plus 10. Defensive supplies plus 25 per turn when under siege. Defense supplies plus 5 when under siege. Okay, I'm going to go with this one first. Uh, all right. That seems fine for now. May not have been all the best uh, choices, but this is fine. We are friends with the rats, so let's continue. Also, welcome back, Atlas Size. Nice to see you again. You're here to decide if you should buy it? I 100% think you should buy it. Factions have approached you with bounties. Should you choose to accept them, carrying out one of them will reward you with riches and favor. New contracts are available for selection. Your friends abroad must want someone pulverized, for a contract Ooh. has been issued. Fulfill it, and a sizable bounty will be yours. Okay, contracts. Ooh, the Skaven need me. Capture and occupy the following settlement, Fort Bergbris. Let's see, treasury. We got 500 gold, 500 gold, 1400 with diplomatic relations, plus 40 with Hochland. Rune Ma? Ooh, let me. I'll accept you first because I am friends with the rats. I love that we are essentially mercenaries and we get to pick and choose who we fuck over. Alright, let's do this. A place over there called Stumpy Dwarf or whatever. Go squat and find your loot. Okay, now does it show on the map though if where we need to go? I wonder if we can. Here, it's right here. Okay, fantastic. All right. And there we go. Um, it's whispers never end. I'm gonna go he Oh, okay. Let me see if I can deploy camp. Tyrant of the tribe. Ogres are renowned for their nomadic ways and fireside revelry. By constructing a camp, ogre factions can provide benefits and support to their local armies, even deep inside enemy territory. Once available, any ogre army can <coughs> excuse me, can deploy a camp using the button on the army panel. Camps cost money to construct and they may be deployed in controlled allied or enemy territory. Okay. I set up a camp. Wow, this is fucking cool. Okay. Never fight. Interesting, 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 interesting. Meat gained from battles plus 4%. Camp growth plus 10. This is so freaking neat. Is this the famous demon great uh, goat Oni-san I've heard so much about? I don't know. 
Is it? I will slaughter. I will butcher. All right, let's see. No ogre can beat me. Oh no, I, I know about portals. That's okay. We played a whole campaign to finish, so I'm I'm well aware of what portals are. Um income my income is fine. Meat generated. I think meat <coughs> from battles might be good, so let's go with this one. And build a defense just in case Oh, we gotta upgrade this. Okay. So I guess we wait. I wonder if the if the camp stays. No one answer, please. So if I like continue outside of camp and I I like continue on the map, if I have little camps along all of my map. Your camps may be extended to provide greater support to your marauding forces. Give the word to erect more facilities from which hungry mouths may be fed. Okay. Ogre camps contain buildings that may be upgraded to unlock further benefits, such as units for recruitment. Ogre camps are the only opportunity for ogres to construct top-tier buildings, as they are available in ogre settlements. Hmm. Anyone want to challenge me? No, you're fine, Project. I just don't need to think that I have no idea what I'm doing kind of thing, that's all. Let's see, larger fire pits, camp growth plus five. Biggest spit, control plus four, and better bribes. I'm going to do camp growth plus five, because I'm sure that's going to come in handy Come quite on. soon. Camp stay forever? Beautiful. God, that is so fucking cool. Alright, let's continue here. Thank you. There is a lull in the <clears> winds <throat> of magic. Can you sense the calm? Be wary, for the longer it persists, the weaker your sorcerers become. I'll eat this whole stinking world. See, we can continue growing this growth plus 20 and defensive supplies plus, plus 50 per turn. All right, fantastic. So we are over here. Let's take this for our rat brethren. Oh, my. A baby. Prophet of the great. Uh, yep, yeah, I will declare war. Wait, let me... I need to move further. Yeah. No allies have chosen to become involved in this dispute. Emil von Korden. You will not fight us cowering from a fight. We are Sigmar's sons. They will become Decisive victory. I lose no one. Goodbye. Butchery awaits. Butchery. Now, do I care about having this settlement? Do I want to sack it? Mm, not yet, not I yet. Also, I appreciate you saying that project, thank you. Let's see, also, Ergo Proxy, hello, nice to meet you. My day's been very good. Through this recent action, Scrag the Slaughterer has unlocked the big name World Swallower. It can now be selected, conferring powerful bonuses to the character. Melee attack. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta put some stuff on him. Also, we did uh, what the rats wanted. A place over there called Something Dwarf, but we'd have to go squat and find out. Nice, nice. Also, where are the? Oops, not the menu. Where are his? Here we go. Let's go to the big names. Um, so we have this already, and I wonder if they stock. Ever famished. Meat provided by camps, plus 25%. Uh, so we can choose these two. World Swallower as well. Diplomatic relations, plus 20 with all factions. And campaign movement range, plus 8%. I feel like I want to do Ever Famished first, because you get meat provided by camps, plus 25%. And then meat gained from battles, plus 10%. Um, but campaign, let's, let's, I'm going to go with Ever Famished first. And in ten, 10, uh, turns, we will get that. So, Doctor, thank you so much for continuing your gift sub. I appreciate that. Let's see, we have one unlocked skill point. So, 
What is this? Lucky Knoblars, physical resistance plus 5% and blessed by the Great Maw, spell resistance 10. Let's get more spells. Bone Crusher. That way we can unlock this and unlock that. But slow and steady runs, wins the race. Alright, um... We have an upgrade for our hero. Toothy Knoblars wins the magic uh, power reserve. Change plus 5% when increasing. Hinder Replenishment. Action Replenishment is modified by additional negative 10%. Specialist, Hero Action, Success Rate, Steel Technology. Cleanse Corruption and Wound. Um, hmm, let's just continue this, I think. Triggers when casting a spell. Passive Ability, Wild Heart. Okay, let's do that. And let's end our turn. All right, Boris. Okay, Boris, I see you. I see you, Boris. You think that I don't see you? Mission issued. Tyrants with titles earn five big names across all characters. Big names draw the admiration of ogres, the length and breadth of the mountains of Morn. Even the lesser races recognize the power that tyrants with titles wield. Earn many big names for your tyrants, lords, and hunter heroes to project your power far beyond your borders. Yeah, I'm I'm getting a lot of income. I don't know why I'm I don't know what's happening. Okay, where are we going though? I'm like going around, so I wanna I wanna see what's over there. Is there any more settlements this way? Let's keep going, I think. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I just imagine Lalman's accent for Boris. Oh, it's not the Boris, but it's a Boris. All right. Uh, where did we go? He's here. Okay. Another place to... So I love that you can keep growing the camps, even though you're long gone. That's really fucking cool. Hmm... Meat generated plus five. Income generated. What do I want? What do I want? Local recruitment. So I won't be going back. So I don't know if that's even relevant at the moment to have local recruitment. So maybe some sort of upkeep negative 20. Income from post battle loot. Casualty replenishment rate. Hmm. Oh, we can build more stuff. Holy shit. Let's do our main settlement. I think we're good. And let's keep going. Okay, all right. What the fuck? It, is that a, it's a little rat! It's a little rat! Look, it's a little rat! Hi, little... Wait, don't you dare be attacking anything of mine. Boris. He is scared. No, come to ogre. Turned up something weird, boss. Oh, turned up something weird, boss. Bunch of stinking knoblars out in cave and only their noses ain't so big. Don't seem quite so dumb as the usual kind, neither. Of course, they'll do what Talon wants if we knocked them around a bit or we could just scop them. Scrag the slaughterer, disciples of the maw. Feast on the goblins or enslave the goblins. What? We found goblins? Bunch of stinking nobblers idling in a cave. Their noses ain't so big and they don't seem quite so dumb. So we found goblins. 
in a cave. Oh no! I, I want to enslave them. Recruitment costs negative 50% for Noblar units. Very good. You would be wise to grow your settlements. Investment at home brings improved facilities and defenses. I'm not good at ogre voices. Such I'm sorry. Will pay I'm ogre. <laughs> I, I don't know what an ogre voice is like. Lawman will have to teach me. I'm not. I have no idea what how to do an ogre voice. Yes, all of the um, factions will be together. What is it called, Jack Saw? At some point, they will all be together and they will all be playable. Okay. Ogre camps contain buildings that may be upgraded to unlock further benefits, such as units for recruitment, and ogre camps are the only opportunity for ogres to construct top tier buildings. Okay. The boss! Where are you? It cools. More war! Okay. Into my meat country. <laughs> okay. Mortal empires. Uh, now it's immortal empires. Okay. Oh, I'm in the map. I'm in the map. God, I'm sorry. All right, unassigned skill points. Let's get more. Thank you, God. Now, now let's assign Thank some. You. Oh, I guess I already automatically assigned it. Never mind. Um. Base weapon damage is up. Passive ability, banner of the eternal flame. Okay. Let's go. Anyone wanna challenge me? Strike, soldier, servant. I think we're doing pretty good. What are these rats doing? What are they doing over there, huh? What are you guys doing? I went to play Skaven again. Oh, these guys getting angy. You can't defeat ogres. <laughs> the butchers have come up something new, boss. Ketchup, they call it. It's red, but ain't blood. Comes from something called the tomato. Cha. Don't make no sense. The tribe's going crazy for it, though. What do you would do about it? Pay him and catch up? Meat generated negative two for all armies, but recruitment cost is negative 25% for all armies. We don't eat fruit and vegetable. Oh my god! <laughs> this is awesome! Okay, but if I do growth plus 20 on all provinces, that's pretty fucking good. But then recruitment cost is down. No, fuck it. We make plenty of money. We don't eat fruits and vegetables. Consider varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy, my lord. Placing an ambush or setting a defensive camp may bring about victory where a straight engagement would fail. Let's see. Yes, meat, no grain. Yeah, I'll p I'm playing Papa Nurgle on the eight-man campaign, so I'm trying the ogres before they release. All we need is meat. Consider varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy. So I should probably pl be placing more camps by what they're staying. Also saying, armies can modify the movement, behavior, and abilities by adopting stances, recruitment, ambushing, raiding, examples of behaviors facilitated by stances. Okay. The more. Hi! Hi. 
close victory. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. Pre-Battle Feast gives you this. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <clears throat> Goodbye. I, I actually don't like corn that much at all. Hmm. Do I want more treasury, meat, or units replenished? I will probably do meat, and then I'll make a camp. This is way easier than Nurgle. Holy shit. Good lord. All right, I'm going to be in the trees. And then I'm going to build a camp. All right, what is Offer Great Maw again? That's right, I completely forgot about this. Let's see, let's see. How do we make a camp again? I completely forgot. Chat, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I forgot how to make a camp. How, well, how and why did I forget to make camp? Good night, Rylex. Take it easy. Good night, you guys. Um... I forgot. <sighs> the more demands patience. Did I put you in a? <laughs> oh, it's in a pre-battle screen. Do you need fifty percent movement for camp? I don't know. I have already forgotten. Upgrade this first. Okay, so I can't upgrade this. I can't do these because they require three. But I can do these two. I can't because my you must upgrade your main settlement chain building first. What do they expect of me? These. Bonus versus infantry. Okay, great. I can serve you back. Great more. Okay. Yeah, I guess when I, I wait. click it. Okay, well, let's do. Let's wait till the next turn. During the t end turn sequence, you can pause the game by pressing this button. Oh, okay. By default, you will see every lord and hero moving around the map. Use these settings to pick which factions, lords, and heroes you want to focus on, and they, this can hasten and optimize the end turn sequence. Oh, okay. You can choose to see lords and heroes from different camera angles and speed up their animations. Use these buttons to apply the settings to entire categories. Hmm. Okay, project. I, I love you, dude, but not yet. Shh, shh, not yet. <laughs> but I appreciate the, the, the kindness. Power Thank you. Comes to Pali, demanding a change in your mutual relations. I will absolutely Consider decline. I'm not giving you any money. Okay, camp growth plus five. Mighty Scrag. Where, where are we the going? Where are we going? Picked up a scent. There is fresh meat to be had. Follow their trail and fill your cauldron for the more hungers. Uh, is there any faction you're not fond of playing so far? Uh, Zinch. I don't like Zinch. Don't worry, Project. I totally understand. 
As the gore harvester, Scrag, is ever on the lookout for fresh meat for his cauldron, long days spent wandering the undercaves taught the pro prophet of the great maw to observe the gorges which hunt, haunt his every step, for their feral senses allow them to root out fresh quarry to satisfy their gnawing hunger. When the gorger's nostrils flare and their famished eyes gleam red, Scrag knows that slaughter is close at hand, and he has learned to gauge the scale of the potential feast by the gorger's silent eagerness. On this day, the gorgers have spent some time sniffing eagerly beyond the caverns, heading up out of the darkness and into the peaks with saliva stringing from their hideous teeth. Scrag's instinct is that they are on something big, and he follows them, determined that his cauldron will have the greatest share of the flesh left. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <gasps> Skaven, what the fuck? Excuse me? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, I- no, 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 no. Fuck off. Wait, so if I teleport, that's gonna happen? Okay, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. You, you fuck- fuck you, rat. Fuck you, rat. Fuck you, rat. I'm gonna get the other rats to- to go against those rats. I cannot believe that just happened. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Imagine trusting a rat? Jesus. They're like, surprise! <laughs> you cannot teleport here. Ooh. What a butthole. Okay. Last I gotta figure out how to make a camp. Income from raiding. Let's do that next. For us. For all of us. Okay. I can make six camps? I might as well just keep going forward. It hungers. Strike, soldier, servant. Crack bone, tear flesh. I guess I can't do it until the next turn. Don't you dare touch me, Meta Stone. We are friends, little rat. The more. Okay, hold on, you guys. The whole point of that teleport is to fight them and you can't reinforce for that battle. Thank you. Yes. I seem to have understand that, but I really appreciate you helping my 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 brain get there because I I never would have gotten there on my own. I brain no work so good, so thank you. Hi Wally, how you doing? Welcome back. How have you been? I was just kidding. Don't freak out. I'm calling you out. Don't freak out. Don't be mad. An enemy port, my lord. From here, they ply trade across the water with allies on distant shores. Capture it, and you may do the same. Okay. How you doing, Wally? Now, I don't think I can take this on because everyone's like at half health. Half health? But let's see. I don't think this is a good idea, so let's break. Yes. Wolfnir, hey, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting the stream. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying your stay. Um, Why can't... 
Well, where's my meat? I only have three meats because where is my meat coming from? Are they eating? Oh god. I need more meat. Oh, and I could put more people in this camp. I see. More meat for my grinder. Interesting. Okay. It's whispers never end. I love that fucking people email. Oh my god. If I call you out in chat, please don't hold it against me. Know that I am just pulling you up and being a shitter. I am not mad at anyone. Let's continue our spells. We have things to grow. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I want one of these. Recruitment cost negative twenty five percent for gorgers units and recruit rank plus four. Okay. No offense taken. Woof! Okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, flagship good. I, I always like bullshit people, but there's always a few people that are like, damn, she's such a bitch. <laughs> I, I mean well, I promise. But no, I, what, why does it do this? I know that Warhammer is such a game where people are just so fucking passionate. And they're just like, they really want to help. And I completely understand that. I like the clarification project is if I don't ask you, just don't say anything. Just, like, get some popcorn and put it in your mouth. You know what I mean? And relax. Um, I, I do want to remember how to build a, a fucking camp. Like, maybe... Oh, oh, wait. Maybe... Okay, but let's go here. Uh, and camp. Forging. Ambush. Okay, so if I... Stance and camp. Enables replenishment across the global recruitment pool. Immune to most attrition campaign movement disabled and recruiting. Okay, so I'm in it camp. Okay. I'll figure it out. So hungry. Yeah, there's definitely a give and take. And if you guys understand the give and take, good. Like, I feel like I have to constantly be like, I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm just, I'm just, it's like a back and forth with you guys. Yeah, if you guys want to talk amongst yourselves about things and, and, and help, I don't mind that. Like, you guys can help each other and talk about factions and things to do. And like, I don't have any issue as long as you're just not like trying to spoon feed me. You know what I mean? Yes, I have played the previous Total Warhammer games. At least I've played Warhammer 2 and I really liked it. Uh, okay, their demands. Some money, some die. You know what? I do like you. I am most important, biggest skaven. I am most important, biggest skaven. <laughs> you will hear me, me, me. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We can be friends. An enterprising slaughtermaster hits upon the idea of fashioning crude, oversized, slip-on noses and ears from leftover scraps of hide. Desirous of these absurd prosthetics, countless noblars flock to your cause, for in their abhorrent society there is no greater sign of station than a bulbous snout and mammoth lungs. Nobler prosthetics? <laughs> What? Upkeep negative 30% for Nobler units and recruitment cost is negative 30% for Nobler units. That is amazing. Your war efforts would be strengthened by the raising of a new army. Appoint another command and you can open a second front against your foes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. 
course, let's fight this guy. Oops, I forgot to get out of stance, my bad. What is this thing? Your army suffers in the miserable conditions they find themselves, my lord. Move them on, or more warriors will fall to the elements. It goes. Close to feet. Close to feet. Get out of there. Too many. Too many. Too many. Okay, maybe then I get a new hero. Oh, hey, we can upgrade here. Let's upgrade your main settlement chain before this. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. No characters are currently available. Yeah, but, 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 but. Okay, Slaughtermaster, the Great Maw. He's strong. Armor, melee attack, weapon strength. Campaign movement range is plus five. Uh, Deboner, meat gained from battles. That's pretty good. Melee attack, Tyrant, Maw, Preacher, and Farter. Uh, I'm going to go with Deboner. A Deboner. <laughs> Uh, let's get plenty of these guys. Your recruitment facilities are at maximum capacity, my lord. Training of additional recruits will begin as soon as possible. Okay, thank you, thank you. Tech, tech doctor, welcome to the community. It's lovely to meet you. I hope you have a good time. Uh, let's get some of these. They serve, or they'll be served. Okay, thank you, thank you. Global recruitment is only available while garrisoned. Oh, oops. Let's let's go go inside, please. Oh, can we not? It's because I'm not a fucking hero, eh? The army cannot move in this current stance. What do you what do you mean? Station mustering? What do you? Fuck off. Get in. Thank you. Um, I had made a mistake and I fixed it. My recipes will grant them home. They will harvest the meat. I'll start here. Now, if I can't fight this it guy, conquers. what's the next option? What is this? What's this thing right here? Well, slow. Oh, Slug, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Sorry to get off topic from the stream, but I'm excited for your D&D &D game. Yes, my D&D &D game is, or ours, is in about 45 minutes, and I'm really excited. Uh, Rattle, also welcome back for four months. Hello. Mm. I'm going to continue, but I guess I can't change it, actually. Biggest guy in the land. I wonder if I, like, go back to the camp? Oops. Bring me something's leg. You need a population of eight. Holy shit. Okay. Want everything. Obey me. Hmm. We need two population to do this. Okay, cannot. Where am I? Unworkable. Oh, Rattle, thank you so much for giving us the community. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Am I streaming? No, I'm gonna take you guys over to Brett's stream when when it starts. Thank you so much for gifting those subs. I really My appreciate Lord, it. The enemy raid your lands and slaughter your denizens. Take up arms against them. Make them pay dearly for their transgressions. You are on my land. I don't. Your army has think marched so. all it can, my lord. They must rest. Wait, why is why is this what? Oh, 
Why do I need more meat? They're eating so much of my meat and I don't have any. Also, what is this? Must go. Must go. It's literally nothing. It's just a little glowy spot on the... Why is the map doing this? Yeah, do, so the the DND group is Tomato, Lolman, Shane, and Juniper, as well as myself. Can't build this because the population needs to grow. So the what's the plan here? Do I like I can't fight them because they're too strong. I need to s get in a different stance, but I can't. This character does not have enough movement range to adopt this stance. Okay, maybe next turn then. That was your battle with Carl. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, hi, Bella. Nice to see you. Those pathetic, sniveling noblars can be leashed and made to sniff out the best loot and more of it, too. Troops may be exchanged between armies in the field if necessary. Have your forces rendezvous in order to transfer warriors between them. Then let the wars continue. Oh, hunger grows. It grows. Okay, I do Servant. need to replenish my health. So let's go back to encamp. Pray, eat, worship. <laughs> Can I move in and camp? Yes, I can. Okay. And then I can't build because of my growth. And then that just will end a turn. Now, what is this guy that is in our area? Where, where's the horse? I, I don't... Where? Where is it? I don't see a horse. Everything seems fine. Maybe instead of going this way because they're too hard, let's go to uh, the west. We'll go, we'll take over people over here. How about that? All right, where am I? And I'll stop by my encampment on the way, I think. Yeah, let's, but they they have so many people backing up their little settlement. It's like they know that I'm on my way. New contracts are available. All right. Natural resources are abundant in this place, my lord. Capture it, and its riches will be yours. I like playing solo campaign because it's actually giving you direction with which way on the map you should be conquering. So in my mind, I was like, I'm going east. But in reality, that was not the way I was, should have gone. Um, so I'm glad that this has been quite helpful. All right. So I'm going to go with the one with uh, most fucking, uh, you know, uh, gold. But I think this is this this is the Skaven. I think this is Skaven. And I like Skaven. But I like money. But I can have them I think I'm gonna go for diplomatic relations because over time if you guys get strong with each other, you guys will just like put your forces together. So right now I'm playing Scrag in Ogre, by the way. Welcome. All right, so it freaks, it can buy us. <laughs> I'm not going to have any more. Uh, the more us I can't put it together in exchange. OK, so let's get out of this stance and let's go this way. And you can come with me. All right. I cannot... Ooh. All right. Interesting. Very good. Very good. Population is still not up. So we wait. I 
I love this game. Think she can trust Skaven? No, no, Dot no. an offering of bits for Grandpa Nagel. Nagel. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. No, it's not that I trust them. It's that I'm trying to convince them to uh, trust me so that I force them into my army over time. Also, love your VTuber model. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, thank you. Thank you. Here, let me, uh, just a little, you know. The hunger for the Great Maw is insatiable. Make plentiful offers to gain the full blessings of the Ogre God. I need more meat. What do you think of the Ogres? I love the Ogres so far. Like, I've, I've no issues. I'm going to use him as backup. Shake the keys. I don't have any keys on me, guys. I have dice. It's kind of close. A little bit. Let's see. More growth. More money. Meat generated. Let's go. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. It does not deserve to talk to us no more. Together we do much. The time is ripe. Yes, yes. Okay, see, non-aggression pact. And they're paying me. I see. I knew you would come around soon. The non a non-aggression pact may be agreed between two factions via diplomacy as a statement of mutual trust. All right, it has the begun. The slaughter goes. <laughs> Master Butcher, follow the meat stench. Ah. All right. Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Duck smile. Ah, oh, Ace, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Camp growth plus 20 when in, in, in enemy territory. Fantastic. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Dinner gong. Control negative four in enemy provinces where an army is present. Uh, subtle sore cream. Recruit rank plus one for cavalry units. And riding stick. Charge bonus. I like charge bonuses. The good mouth rewards its servants. Scrag, why are you in the fucking... Scrag? Scrag? Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's drowning. He's drowning. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, get out. Get out. Get out. Why are you in the fucking water? I didn't even tell you to do that. Oh, you you dummy. You dummy dumb dumb. Can, are you just gonna sw Like, are you... The waves cold. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. I didn't know he could do that. I must listen. All right, I'm gonna flank them, and they're not gonna know what happened. Oh, there goes the campaign. <laughs> yeah, he cannot. Oh <gasps> no, wrong army. Oh shit. Okay, well Scrag is on the other side, so at least I'm distracting him. This is what's important. You know, it's all it's all working according to plan. Okay, okay. That is a big. That's a big oof. That's a. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Scrag, Scrag is already there and he won't be able to make it. So that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. We're okay. We're all right. We're all right. Surely a cruel jest by the gods. Gurth the Cheese has been killed in the battle at Fort Brolberg. The tome of fate calls to me. All right, the portals the are now open, or will be opened. 
There are rival powers that may be willing to open trade negotiations. Consider making an agreement. For money oils the machine of war. Okay, okay. Income generated. Growth. Income. And let's build some sort of defense, I think, will be quite important unless... Meat. We need meat, more meat. Income, uh generated fuck 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 but we need some sort of defense what's this chance of plague spreading corruption moving a trait again from visiting the realms of chaos growth uh defensive supplies defensive supplies when under siege i need meat all right so scrag is here and he's here across the way and i need to go here let's see what happens Oh no, you son of a bitch. Oh, I lose one Noblar. That's okay. Goodbye. <laughs> That's right. What did you think was going to happen? A hunter came by and dropped a big old carcass at your door, boss. Ain't never seen nothing like it. It looks kind of like a saber tusk, but twice as big. When the butcher cut it open, it weren't right inside. It's got 13 hearts, he says. Good and eaten. In there, yeah? Put the hearts in the pot. Cool down negative 50% to spells or bonus experience 4,000. I am going to do a cooldown. Consider merging some units in this army, my lord. They will be better placed to survive the glorious battles to come. Won't stop till everything's Okay, okay, okay. I'll eat this whole stinking world. I'm the boss. Wait, where are the armies? In charge. Where are my units? Tyrant. Hello? Where are my units? I know there's units oh, in here. Where are the my. units in here? Tyrant of the tribe. Make sure I don't die. Right? Who can right there. boss around next? Alright, merge selected units. Obey me or your dinner. Merge selected more units. For my grinder. Okay, let's put some more noblars. Make sure I don't die. Right. Some of these. Okay. Scrag is here. <laughs> From here? Hello, Zedto. Let's see what we got here. Close victory. Done and done, my friend. Let's occupy. Ooh! <gasps> or we could sack it. And then get it the next turn. Ooh! I kind of want to sack it. Ooh! What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Ooh, oh, do I want to sack it? Oof. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The strongest. Okay. What else we got? Troll guts. Replenishes hit points and the maw. Huge explosion area. I want that. Oh my god. Okay. And wait. Oh my god. Is my game gonna crash? Game? Oh my god. It automatically saves, right? Game? Game? I think my game just crashed. Is everyone here? Guys, can you hear me? Hello? Are you guys still there? Are we still here? Okay, my game crashed. Shit. There it goes. God damn it.
That's annoying. Okay. I'm restarting my game. That was very sad. <laughs> it's loading. Sorry, give it a second, guys. Okay. All right. Why is it not the settings that I had before? Why are you not on 10, 20 billion four? Thank you. Okay. Campaigns. Continue campaign. Let's go. What the fuck? I think a bug bit me. I'm bleeding a little bit. I think I was a spidey. What the hell? Alright, let's see where we're at. I really like ogres so far. I'm enjoying them and they're a lot easier than Nurgle by a billion. Bite it back? Okay. This is taking a little bit. Taking a little bit. Taking a little bit. Okay, okay, where did we last go? Or where did we last left leave off? Come on. What's hard about Nurgle? It's the whole idea of when you're building your your bases, you have to go through this cycle before you can even you can't just be like, okay, recruit, 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 like you can in every other faction. You have to wait um, until you go through a cycle to recruit anything. I'm not quite understanding of why that's the case, but also my game, I don't know if it's continuing. Here we go. Okay. Let's do a few more turns, and then I'm going to take you all over to Brit. All right. I just... Okay, so we left off. We haven't gotten that yet. Okay. Wait, didn't I kill him? Oh no. He changed his mind. He went to my camp before. That's fucked up, game. That's fucked up. I killed that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's see what this happens. What happens here? Valiant defeat? You, you, you son of a bitch. Right, my game, I think my game crashed again. No? No. That's so fucked. It reset and changed. That's not, okay. What, if you guys are just tuning in, last game, a moment ago before my game froze, one of the heroes was out on the field and attacked my settlement and I killed him. My game froze, I had to restart, then he actually, in this game mode, went to the settlement, reinforced it, and now it's a Valiant defeat. You stupid. The game didn't like that I won and crashed on me. No, no, no. No, you're cheating. No, you're cheating. No, I'm going to reload. But also, I will say it's getting close to that time anyway. Let me go check and see if Brett is streaming. One second. I think he said he was streaming an hour early and I kind of need a prep for D&D. &D, so let me just see. Um, 
One second. Yeah. Buddy. Royal Mimic, thanks for the five gifted subs, dude. I really do appreciate that. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Let me switch on over to chatting inside. If you guys don't know, today is my first day um, pretty much ever of... Uh, wait, let me, let me fix this real quick. One second. Now you can see me with great detail. Uh, today is my first day um, of D&D. &D. It is session zero, so we're kind of getting all getting all the crew together and getting on top of our characters and uh, who they are, what they are, what they do, um, all of our stats, the intricacies of IO. And you know what? I think this is a good stopping point anyway. I really like Scrag. I really like Ogres. Um, also, if you... Damn, you're young. I'm 31. <laughs> what the... Oh, I guess what I said. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, I played D&D. &D. I used to live in LA and I played D&D &D, uh, IRL with a group for a long time, but I haven't done an online session before. So this is my first online session, but with really experienced veterans. Like Juniper has played so many and she's she's so into D&D. &D, it's insane. I invited her onto the group and she is just taken to it like a moth to a flame. Wait. Not a good analogy. Uh, awkward, but correct. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> so Brett is live now, and in the next about 20 minutes, myself, Juniper, Tomato, Shane, and Lolman will be getting together with our D&D group. Sorry, I'm excited, and I said group uh, for session zero. So I'm going to throw you guys over to Brett. I am so excited. This D&D &D group is a long campaign. Um, I, won't, I don't want to tell you any other details other than this is probably going to go on for about a year. Um, we, we're going to meet once a week starting in March. Uh, so if you're looking forward to a really good D&D &D campaign, there are a few going on uh, with Brett at the moment. So please go stretch, get some snacks, relax, and please enjoy session zero. I am very, very, very excited and I'm looking forward to you guys seeing what we have in store for you all. I'm going to send you guys over to Brett. Yeah, I, I'm honestly so mind blown that uh, I get to play with Tomato. Um, he, is, he is something else, all right? Absolutely something else. So, um, I, and I don't even know what he has in store for us as our group, so I'm excited. Um, you guys will absolutely love this D&D &D campaign. I know you will. So I'm going to throw you guys over to Brett. Go say hello. Give him a follow. Um, please keep in touch with the details with the D&D &D group. I know a lot of you all have been looking forward to it. Um, and for the record, I am, I'm good friends with everyone in the group. So we know each other. But it will be interesting to see how we RP and do D&D &D together. And I think... Honestly, I have full confidence that this is going to be a fantastic, fantastic group for d and I'm really excited. Um, tomorrow, I will be back early. Um, I think, uh, I don't remember the time, but check out my Twitter, Exclamation Point Social, so you can see the time that I will be starting tomorrow. I will be starting a new campaign with Grisus uh, Goldtooth, with Kryken playing as Scrag. I know we started two different parts of the map, but we're going to move forward and eat as much meat as possible. So if you guys want more Ogre before launch, we will be playing tomorrow. Don't worry, it's not with a big group, so it'll be quick um, and exciting. And I'm really excited. So thank you guys very much for having a good time with me today. I, I'm going to play a lot more solo campaigns. I really enjoyed it. But in the meantime, I will see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay? Bye, guys, and enjoy the show.